In this video, we'll walk through installing the ScreenLogic Config app and basic steps to setting the Pentair Automation System up with the app. We'll be setting our system up with an iPad, so let's go to the App Store and search for Pentair ScreenLogic. Now select the ScreenLogic Config app. And once it is installed, tap the Open button. We have two ways to connect to our ScreenLogic system, locally or remotely. If we select the local option and we are connected via Wi-Fi to the same router the protocol adapter is connected to, the app will automatically locate systems on that network. If we're not on the same local network, we can use the remote sign-in option to connect via the internet. The first time we connect to the system, we'll need to enter the system name manually. The next time we open the config app, the last name entered will be automatically populated. We can also tap the pencil to give this system a nickname. So let's get started by tapping the general settings button. And the first thing on the list is system info and password. This screen gives us information about the automation system ScreenLogic is connected to, along with our protocol adapter version. We can also set a remote access password for ScreenLogic. This password would only be needed when connecting remotely through the internet. Back at the general settings screen, the clock and temp button takes us to a screen where we can set the current date and time. To change the date and time settings, simply swipe up or down on the individual parameters to adjust them. We can also turn the daylight savings function on or off here. If we scroll down, we can choose between Celsius and Fahrenheit for our temperature display. Tap the Save button to return to the General Settings menu. The Location button enables us to set the location of the system by zip code or by longitude and latitude. If we enter the current zip code for the system, the longitude and latitude automatically adjust. If we scroll down, the weather source defaults to auto by zip and the weather parameters auto populate. Now tap the save button to return to the general settings menu. The home page screen allows us to choose between pool summary and weather or pool summary only. Remember that for the weather information to show on the home page the system needs to be connected to the internet. Tap the save button to return to the general settings menu. On the sensor calibration screen, we can adjust the reading of our temperature sensors if they are not accurate. Temp sensors can usually be adjusted plus or minus 10 degrees. Tap the save button. The email alert setting screen lets us turn alerts on or off for different items. This sends us an email for things like priming alarm on an IntelliFlow pump, low salt on an IntelliCore, or for freeze protection activating. After choosing the alerts we want, tap in the box for adding an email to send the alerts to and enter the email address. When we're done, tap the save button to get back to general settings and then tap the settings button at the top left side of the screen to return to the main menu. Let's tap the setup circuits button. Here we can set the circuit names and functions. Swipe up and down to scroll through the available circuits. Notice that Pool and Spa are already set, so let's scroll to Auxiliary 1. Now tap in the text box for Aux 1, and swiping up, scroll to Pool Light, and then tap the Save button. Now our circuit is named Pool Light. Let's tap in the text box for Circuit Function, and scroll down to find the IntelliBright function, and tap the Save button. Notice the show on setting is now disabled. Whenever we give a circuit a light function, ScreenLogic automatically shows that circuit in the light section in the ScreenLogic Connect app. Now let's scroll up to aux2. ScreenLogic also allows us to set a custom name. If we scroll down, we can select set custom names. Here are our available usernames. For username one, tap in the text box 
and use the keypad to type in a custom name. Then tap the save button. And now when we scroll through our list of available names, we can find the custom name we entered in place of username one. Now let's tap the circuit function. Let's set this circuit function to master cleaner. This way the system will know to turn the pull circuit on before this circuit can run to protect a booster pump from running without being primed. Let's tap the show on setting. Here we can choose where we want this circuit to be accessible from. If we choose the don't show setting, the circuit will not be visible when running the ScreenLogic Connect app, which may be helpful if there's a circuit we want to just run in the background. Tap the save button and let's go ahead and turn freeze on for this circuit to protect the booster pump and plumbing. Now tap the settings button at the top and then we'll go into other equipment. The valve assignment button lets us set the circuit that will control the auxiliary valves. In this case, valve A and B. If a solar heating system will be set up, valve A will always default to being used by the solar system. Tap the save button. And back at the other equipment screen, we can set things such as whether we want the pump to shut off when valves turn, and also specify any water chemistry controller that may be attached to the automation system. The SPA manual heat when set to on will activate the gas heater when the SPA is manually turned on, even if heat is set to off for the SPA circuit. If we tap the pull SPA button, we can select a heat source other than gas heat which is always an option from the pool and spa section of the ScreenLogic Connect app. If we select solar, we just have to remember that now valve A will be used by the solar system. The circuits needing high speed section is where you would add circuits to trigger high speed on a two speed pump. You simply tap the add circuit button, select the circuit, and when that circuit is active, the pump will go to high speed. Now we'll go back to the main menu and tap the Setup and Teleflow button. If we have more than one pump, we can choose which one we want to set up. Let's leave it on pump one and tap the type setting. Let's change none to IntelliFlow VSF and hit save. Now we need to set up the circuits that need pump speeds or flows and the speed or flow for those circuits. Tap the first none. And let's scroll down to the pull circuit and tap save. Now we have the option to change between RPM setting and a GPM setting. Let's leave it at GPM and tap the flow setting. To change the flow, just scroll up or down to adjust the setting and then tap save. We would follow the same steps for each additional speed or flow we needed. Tap the settings button. The spa side remote section lets us set up our IS4 spa command or quick touch. Scroll up or down to choose the type of remote we have, then tap the setting for the button we want to assign, and then select the circuit. Then tap the save button to save the setting. Tap the settings button, and back at the main menu, tap the schedules button. Let's start by adding a schedule for the pool and tap the add new scheduled program button. The schedule circuit defaults to the pool circuit which we can simply change by tapping the circuit name and then selecting another circuit. We'll leave this set to the pull circuit for now. Tap in the heat command area of the schedule and let's add a heat source setting. Since we already set up a solar heat source, let's set the heat source for pool to solar by swiping up and then tap the done button. We can change the start and stop time by tapping it and swiping up or down to change the minutes and hour setting along with AM or PM and then tap done. We set the stop time in the same manner. Let's set a 12 hour runtime here and then tap done. If we tap the days to run section of our schedule, we can turn the days to run on or off by tapping them. The days will be gray on the days the schedule will not run. Tap the done button to save these settings. And that's it for the basic setup of an EasyTouch or an IntelliTouch system with the ScreenLogic Config app. If we launch the ScreenLogic Connect app, 
we can see the circuits, pumps, and schedules we now have set up. 